Okay, so just bring yourselves to standing for those that have just come into the class. I hope it's not as bad as last week with the, the light. Um, okay, so just coming to your mat, all right, and just bringing your feet in underneath your hip, all right, and just grind yourself. If, you, if you've got your shoes on, please take them off. And if you want to just come into your bare feet, it just feels nicer and kind it of strengthens up the tendons and the feet and the ligaments, okay? Uh, we'll be doing a little bit of balance work with that, all right? So just, just gentle rocking as we did last week, okay? And just coming onto your heels and then back up onto your toes, just ever so slightly, not fully up onto your tippy toes, just onto the balls of the feet, and then rock, rock them back onto your heels, okay? And as you come up onto the balls of your feet, a little gentle engagement of the glutes, okay? And then rock them back on the heels as your toes lift. And you feel the front of your shins tightening up. So activating the fronts of the shins and then coming back onto the balls of the feet. Activating the calves, okay? Gentle rocking. And really feeling how hard you, you might struggle on one foot compared to the other, or you might struggle with both. Trying to engage that big toe. As I see in my clinic, I see a lot of people struggling to those work their big toes when they're being active to walking or running or whatever sport they may be, okay? I'm just trying to stabilize as you come onto those balls of the feet, okay, onto your tiptoes. Trying to stabilize, feel your calves tightening up a little bit, okay? Again, I'm getting a lot of people coming in with foot issues at the moment and calf problems. And it's just saying to the increase in their miles of those when they're, they're of walking more during this time. Through boredom. <laughs> Okay, but their, their muscles can't sustain it. So it's important to strengthen these calves, okay, in your feet. Give me another three, breathing in as you lift. Exhale to lower, breathing in. And coming down gently, one more. A little bit of fatigue kicking in, possibly. And then coming back down. Okay, from there, guys, we're just going to come down into like a little gentle half squat. So keeping your feet in underneath your hips, okay? Big breath in before you begin. Gentle activation of the abdominals. Draw the belly bump towards your spine, standing nice and tall, okay? Vis uh, visualize where the neck is as well in space, okay? So you want nice, long neck area. Also, so opening up the back of the neck, okay? From here, guys, we're going to drop down, pushing our heels down to the mat, keeping our toes down also, okay? And just a gentle half squat, narrow squat, obviously, so your feet are close together under the hips. And then exhaling as you go, pushing those hips forward, bringing the arms back, okay? Inhale as you come down, exhale to push through the hips, okay? Coming down and pushing up. And just check in with your feet, make sure that they're in line with each other, that one isn't forward and forward compared to the other. Good, keep going, well done. Exhale to come back up, coming down as you breathe in, slide forward. Good. Well done. Nice squeezing of the glutes, really clenching the bum. Good. Give me another five, four, three, two, and one. Keeping that upper body nice and tall. From there, guys, we're going to bring our right leg behind into a reverse lunge. Anyone that has any issues with the knees, you know what to do at this stage. Just come in with a narrow stance and just do this movement up and down, okay? Everybody else, you're bringing the legs forward and then bringing it back, okay? Not dropping the knee to the floor, keeping that elevated, okay? Staying on that one leg, we're not switching sides. We're staying on the same side, really pushing the toes down with that front leg. Good. Breathing into it. For four, for three. After these few, we're going to drive the knee up. Two, good, one. Okay, from there, guys, you're going to come back with that leg, and then you're going to drive the knee up forward. Okay, you're coming back, and then drive the knee. Okay, good. Drive it down, drive up. Bring the arms into it if you wish. And just mind this front knee, okay? You don't want to track in with that knee, in or out. But be mindful of that knee. Anyone with the knee issues, you want to do the narrow stance, and then you can come up standing, push up, down, 
push up. Okay. There's options there for you too, guys. Give me another four, three, two, one. Now hold the leg up, please. Hold it at 90. Good, just hold. Bring your toes towards you, stabilize. From here, guys, tuck in the pelvis gently, not fully. It's a neutral pelvis. And what I want to see is that you're not leaning back. You're not feeding into your back. You're standing up nice and tall, and you're not kicking that hip out. You're staying good and strong, okay? Just one facing you here. So I don't want to see this hip coming out. Tuck it, drive the belly button towards the spine, nice and tall. Feel that little burn coming into the hip. Keep going, please. Good. Nice and tall, so crown the head, lift the knee, come on. No leaning back, Anna, nice and tall. Straighten the, the standing leg, straighten the standing leg. For three, for two, for one. Thumbs up if you felt it in your hip flexors. <laughs> okay, good stuff, okay. Just bringing that right at the top of the leg that was lifted there, just bring it behind you and drop the knee to the ground, please. Okay, the leg that was up in front in the 90 degree angle. I want you to bring that one to the ground and just rest it down fully. And just gently leaning into that front leg, please. Bring the arms down by your sides. We're going to inhale as we reach your hands to the ceiling, lifting up out of your pelvis. Lift the rib cage. Let the ribs pop. Okay. Normally we're bracing them, but bring them up. Really breathing into them, and then exhale to come all the way down. Okay. Breathing in as you reach, and exhale to lower. Breathe in as you reach, keeping that leaning into that front leg. Keep it there. Exhale to lower. And for two, breathe in as you reach. Exhale, if you're feeling that in your lower back, just don't go so high with the arms. Just bring them just in front of your face. And coming down, okay? From here, bring your hands down onto the inside of that front leg, please. Both hands, okay? And then from there, guys, I want you to, so it's your left, uh, let's say it's your left leg at the front. I want you to bring, leave the opposite hand down. So the right hand is staying down. The outer hand is staying down. You're gonna release the inner arm and looking up towards the ceiling. Okay, breathing into this posture, please. The inner hand has released. Okay, getting a nice mobility into the mobility in the spine. Lovely. Looking at the hand, getting a little bit of tightness in the neck. That's what we're working on. Go to that point where you feel most comfortable. If it's too much, just bring it back a small bit. Okay, breathing for three, for two, release down. Just bring it back up quickly. Inhale. X for three, for two, for one. And slowly tuck your toes with the back leg, bring your inner hand to the outer part of your leg, the hand either side of that front leg, lifting that leg, bringing the other leg back and holding plank position, breathing into it, push the heels away. Push the bend the knees. Okay, and slowly bring your hands back and slowly coming back up to standing and stacking your vertebrae one at a time, bringing yourself back up to a nice tall snap. Okay, everybody okay, I hope. From there, guys, we're going to just switch your the legs. Okay, so your left leg will be coming behind you, the opposite leg back, and start to work it. Okay, coming into that reverse lunge position. Okay, when you're ready, three, two, one, and coming back just in line with the other leg. Good, breathing. And those that need to just do the narrow stance, just do this, okay? Lovely, or if you wanna rest your foot onto a chair, if you have one there in the room, rest the back leg up and keep working through that, okay? And then when you're ready, we're gonna drive the knee up. And two, two more please. One more. And we're going for knee drive on the next one, okay? So bring the leg back, drive it up. Bring it back and drive. Good. Bring it back and drive. Well done. Excellent. Really focus on straightening that standing leg. Give me five. Bringing that lower back leg back slowly. Control. Give me three more. Good. Two. One more. Remember, we're going to hold that leg up on the last one. Hold. Hold, you wanna put your hands on your hips, check in with your body. Is that standing leg straight, guys? If you fall out of it, get back in. Standing leg is straight. That bum is really firing up nicely of the standing leg. 
no leaning back nice and tall chin where's your chin at don't be lifting it up to the ceiling i want to open the back of the neck so drop the chin a small, small bit good let to straighten that standing leg straighten the standing leg there we go much better good no leaning back for three for two for one and then we're going to just bring it down and then we're going to bring it behind to stretch out the hip vector okay that leg that was lifted we're going to bring it back down okay onto the ground please and bring your hands to the inner side please okay when you're ready and then from there i want you to release your inner hand please all the way to the ceiling okay and follow that hand with your eyes okay breathing into it and wherever you feel that your neck gets a little bit uncomfortable if it's too much as i said just bring it slightly back okay so just bring your eye line down a little bit but keep your hand where it feels comfortable try and go as far as you can within your comfort range without feeling any pain as such okay a little bit of discomfort is okay it's pain that we do not want okay breathing in for three two one bring the hand down to meet the inner side of the foot and then release for four breathing in as you bring it down for three for two and for one more please lovely stuff bring the hand down bring it in on the outside of the other of that foot the front foot lift your back leg extending that leg back and come into a nice high plank position please holding and breathing into it from there i want you to bring your feet towards you walk them slowly towards you bring your bum towards the ceiling and then i want you to just march out the leg stretching out the back of the leg by lying down towards your feet lovely and then from there i want you to bend your knees slightly and then walk your hands back okay nice controlled movement and as you come back, you'll feel that your chest is just resting above your thighs or resting on your thighs. Okay. Bring your hands towards your feet and walk them up your legs. And as your hands come towards your knees, you're going to start to straighten out your knees slowly. Good. And then stacking your vertebrae up to each other one at a time and coming up to a nice pulse stance again, which only means one thing we're not finished with standing sequence. Okay. So, guys, again, anyone that may suffer with any injuries in the knees. I literally just want you to come down to that side stretch, hold for five seconds, and then come back up to standing. Okay, everybody else is gonna come into a side lunge. You're gonna bring your feet back underneath your hips and then drive back out, okay? And we're gonna go for 10 of these. So if the other grind, just hold for five by two, okay? Or three, as many as you get in. Keep going, please. And take it that you're on four. Five, six, make sure your knees tracking towards your toes. Please for three, for two, for one. Okay, from here, we're gonna drop out into that side lunge, extending that leg out a little bit further. And I want you to rotate the foot towards the ceiling. Okay, just hold that little stretch on the adductors. Okay, hold for three, two, one, bring your toes back facing forward and then dropping down to that same leg and I just want gentle pulses okay little gentle pulse okay well done if you feel that you're caught on that straight leg you can keep your toes lifted if you want and keep pulsing that way you feel it's easier good staying nice and tall come on good for three two one lovely stuff coming up standing okay we're going to switch your roof going on to that other leg just making sure that the toes again have a little look down make sure those tracking your knees tracking in the line of your toes okay often i see people and their knees are knocking in or too far out you don't want that okay so coming up nice and tall we're going to go from here and lunging down good well done really driving that foot into the floor Clawing the ground with your toes, okay? And just be mindful of your ankles. And take your time going into that alignment. If you feel more comfortable just doing the holding, drop and down and hold. 
and come back up and hold for five and come back up. You can do that, okay? Well done. For two, for one. And then we're gonna go back out, guys. Just rotate the foot towards the ceiling and just hold that stretch, okay? You can rest your hands on your knee if you wish, or your thigh. And breathing. Good. Breathe. Okay, bring your toes back down, coming up nice and tall, leaning back into that leg. And again, just gentle pulses. Make sure your full foot, full foot is down, toes down. Little gentle pulse. Check in with your knee. Make sure it's going in that alignment. Again, generally between the second and big toe. Okay. Good. For three. For two. For one. Coming back up nice and tall. Okay. From here, guys, we're going to do the standing breaststroke, okay? So normally we're face down and we extend up and the arms come back, okay? So if you can just visualize this alignment, but we're standing, okay? So feet under the hips, neutral pelvis, so a little tiny gentle tuck, little ten attention in the glutes, okay? Nice and tall, lift it up out of your pelvis again, okay? So don't let yourself... Sink down, bring that space between your lower rib and your pelvis a little bit open, okay? Nice bit of space there. Breathing in. As you inhale, you're reaching your hands all the way back, okay? And I want you to lift your head. So visualize your face down on the mat and you're extending through your back, okay? From there, guys, you're going to go wide with your hands. And as you do so, bring your chin down and extend your arms behind as if you're flying, okay? Chin back down towards your chest. As you inhale, hands come right by your sides. You're gonna lift your chin as your arms lift. Breathing in, breathing in, all the way up towards the ceiling, extending through your back, pushing the hips forward, okay? Exhale, palms away. Hands go wide, chin comes down. Chin comes down, keep going, keep going, keep going as the arms come down, opening the chest. In all the way to the chest, hands are down behind you. Inhale as your hands brush against your thighs, breathing in, head starts to lift with your hands. Follow your hands, okay? My line follows the hands. Inhale, 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 lifting up out of your ribcage, lengthen through your abdominals, reaching back, hands wide. Exhale, breathing, toes down, head down. Hands come down, chin to chest by the time your hands get to your thighs. Inhale, we'll go for two more, reaching up. Lifting nice and tall, lengthen through your torso, reach as long as you can with those arms. Hands go wide. Hands go wide. Head comes down now. Lower the head down, chin to chest. And we're going for one more, please. Inhale to reach towards the ceiling. And you want to reach those arms behind you, extending back. Follow those hands. Okay, keep the toes down. Hands go wide. Start to bring your head down towards your chest once your hands get to your thighs. Lovely, Paz. And once your hands get to your thighs, start to lift your chin with your hands as you inhale. Good. And then slowly bring your hands back down by your sides. Good. It's a bit weird. I know it's a bit like the standing cat cow <laughs> but it just has it takes a little bit of uh getting used to okay but you're doing good okay one last standing exercise so bringing your hands feet under your hips okay hands out and palms facing forward okay all right a little gentle clench of the glutes as i always prescribe and draw the belly button towards your spine okay so don't stick your bum away gentle tuck of the pelvis palms facing forward take a breath in and on the exhale, we're going for spinal rotation, leading with your right arm forward. You're going to rotate, but the idea is that this hip doesn't come back. So just, just watch for a moment so you get what I'm doing. So we're going to inhale, exhale, exhale, exhale. Breathing in as you come to center. Exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. Now when I'm doing this, I'm stopping this hip from coming back. So my hips are staying square, but my upper body from here is rotating, okay? Arms facing forward, we'll start together. Big breath in, leading with your right hand. Our left, I suppose the left goes behind, but we're bringing the right hand forward. Breath in, exhale. Big breath in. 
Loud exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. As you exhale, feel your abs contracting. As you exhale, all that air out. Like a little pulsing in the abdominal. Exhale. Keep the hips forward. Keep hips square. Okay? You don't want those hips coming back. Exhale. 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 So your hips want to go one way and your upper body wants to go the other. We'll go for two more. Breath in. Exhale. Breath in, last one. Exhale. Bring it in. Bring the hands down. Shake it out. Just go wide. Circle the arms. After that. Okay, bring the arms across. The fatigue in the shoulders. Bring your neck one way. Bring the other arm across. Bring the neck the opposite way. Okay. From there, guys, I want you to come down onto your knees. Okay? So onto your knees, and then we're going onto our back. So slowly coming down to your knees, take your time. We've done these ones before. Okay, so we're just relax your toes, no stress. Okay, I'm just gonna bring this to a longer view. You can get all of me. Okay, so coming down, nice and relaxed. Okay, make sure your knees are stacked and they're in underneath your hips. Okay, nice and tall. I don't want anyone's bones back here and I don't want them too far forward, okay? So I want strong abdominals here. So nice and tall, no bones sticking back and just a gentle tuck of the pelvis, squeezing your glutes, okay? Before we begin, so protect that back, okay? This is nice and straight. From the base of your spine all the way to the crown of your head. From here, guys, we're gonna reach your hands out in front, hands facing forward. Big breath in, and as you exhale, leaning back towards your, your heel. Nice straight line, going forward. Big breath in, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. At that point, we feel a nice bit of tension coming into the quads. Big breath in, and exhale. I mean, that's done Nordic falls before, it's the opposite to that, okay? Really targeting the quads, the hip flexors. Exhale. Four. Well done. For two more. For one more. We're going to hold the last one, guys. And hold. Okay. We're going to start to swim the arms. Keep a good, strong core strength here. No rotating. Okay. Good, strong swimming. Keep strong to your core. I want good bracing here in the abdominals. Firing the glutes. Good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. For five, four, three, two, one. Going back up. Lovely to come down onto all fours, extending that right leg behind. Just leaning back onto the heel, straight down onto that heel. Just staying straight, not tucking the leg under. Reach back, breathing in, and then slowly coming forward with that left or that right leg, and then reaching the opposite leg back. Bend nice and long, slide it along the floor. Very nice and tall. I'm just opening up that leg after the that activation there, okay? Prevent any injury, okay? And there, guys, we're going to come on to all fours when you're ready. Everyone's all right. Um, we're going to start with the cat cow. All right. The hands under the hips, or under the, under the shoulders, and knees under your hips. Relax the feet out, please. Okay, nice neutral spine. So just check in with your spine before you begin. Okay, take a big breath in here. And on the exhale, we're going to start to tuck with our pelvis. So bring your pelvis in underneath you, okay, rounding through your stomach area. And then when you get to that point where you can't keep going with your pelvis, you can't keep going with that tucking. You're starting to drive through your thoracic, so push into the mat a little bit stronger. Get that angry cat, okay? Visualize. And then really bring in the head down, chin towards your chest, okay? As you breathe in, we're going to release the pelvis. Release, release, release. Take that bum away. Bring that belly down towards the floor. Feel your ribs opening and expanding. 
see our chest coming down towards the floor. Arms are staying straight, we're not bending the elbows. And then the, che the chest is opening, bringing your neck up. Great, breathe into the nose. And then on the exhale, we're gonna tuck the pelvis. Slowly. This isn't about going quick, guys. It's about mobilizing your body. Okay? Getting the movement into your lower back, your mid back, your upper back, okay? And the slower you do it, the more feedback you get from what is going on in your body. Breathe in as you release, okay? We move through these things too quickly. We don't get the same results. We don't get the same feedback where we may be tight. You're just becoming in tune with your body and letting it talk to you a little bit about what's going on, okay? And we're going to talk on the exhale. So take your time breathing out as you talk. Okay. One of my faves. And head open. Anyone that runs or that does any competition, any sport, this is one that I sometimes do before I go out because I find that it's a great one for releasing your diaphragm as well. So you're really expanding through that and releasing any tension that may affect you throughout whatever competition you're doing. If you've got kids that compete, it's a really, really good one to do for our session or uh, racing or whatever it might be. Okay, we're gonna go for one more and they should be doing it anyway. Stay. Okay, so bringing yourself back into that nice neutral position, okay? Eye line down and just check in. Are your arms and hands good and strong, okay? From here, guys, we're going to extend our right leg nice and long and just check in to make sure that you haven't uh, become very imbalanced in your pelvis, okay? So I don't want that hip too high. Make sure that you're nice and level, okay? Don't go for height if it's going you out, all right? That's not where we're about. And then we're going to extend the opposite arm, please. I'm going to hold this for 30 seconds, okay? Now, breathing in and really lengthening through your arms, through your limbs, through your legs, okay? Really pushing that toes away from you to get more contraction in your quads and your glutes. Good. Keep going, guys. We've got 10 seconds to go. Nice little length. Staying strong to that standing arm for five, four, three, two, one okay bringing the hand down bring your knees back in underneath the hips tucking your toes you need to come onto your fists if your wrists are sore you can do so for the next exercise okay tuck your toes make sure your knees are under your hips all right three two one we're going to come back open to leg pull front okay and holding for 30 seconds breathing into it draw the belly button towards your spine strong arms draw the shoulder blades away the breath will get you through it. Then those arms start to shake, okay? Start making your squeaky noises, Sinead Brady. Keep going. Okay, we're nearly there. You can do it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We've got five seconds. Four, stay up, stay up. Three, two, one, and gently come down. Coming into your lovely push-up position, guys. Wide arms. You can do full or from the knees. I think it's about time to start going full ones, okay? So when you're ready, squeeze the glutes. Make sure you're in the right position. Your chest comes all the way to the floor. Breath in as you come down. Exhale to push up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Well done. 4, 3, two, and one. Resting those wrists, coming down onto your elbows, please. Sorry, guys, if you want to place the bands on for these next ones, you can, apologies. It's um, up to you, though. Place them around your thighs, if you wish. You don't have to. If you feel that you're, going, you're getting enough of a workout without, then just, if you're struggling at the moment, then just stay without, okay? So bring the knees. Just slightly behind the hips, resting the elbows down, bring the hands together for a like position. Okay, draw that belly button towards your spine to protect your back. Okay, I want a neutral pelvis. So again, not dipping your lower back, a gentle tuck, not too much. 
and then extending that left leg towards the ceiling. Okay, bring the knee down slowly and then drive up. Lower, lift. Well done. Seven, eight, nine. We're going to hold it up here. Ten. Hold, pull, and pull. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Lovely. We love the pulse. For four, for three, for two, for one. Lower. Straighten that leg. Okay. Stay down your elbows. Gather yourself if you've kind of gone off alignment a little bit. We center. Lower and lift. Okay. For three. For two, for one. We're going to hold it up there and pull. Lovely. For five, four, three, two, one. Come into shell stretch B. So bring your big toes together. And sitting back onto your heels. Reach your arms nice and long. And rest your head down. And slowly come back onto all fours. Okay, hope you're all okay. We're gonna do the opposite side of Superman. So I hope you remember. I think I did right leg, left arm the last time. I'm gonna do right arm, left leg. Okay, so three, two, one, except you have the band on this time. So if you wanna slip it off, do guys. And extend. Breathing into it. I'm leaving it on. My left side was my weaker side, so I'm gonna make it work. Breathe. Hold. Keeping your form, guys. Breathing into it. When you start to struggle, just focus on that breath. Okay? Nearly there. Keep going. Don't let the belly come down too low. Okay? Keep that little bit of core strength there. Breathing. Nearly there. Strong arm. Come on. Let it do its work. Stay strong to that standing arm. Push into the mat. Two. One, lower down, tuck your toes. Just give yourself a second, readjust, bring your hands in underneath your shoulders. If you wanna come onto your fist, you can do that as well, okay? When you're ready, tuck the toes. Three, two, one, and up to come into the leg, pull front. Okay, so your knees are lifted. They're in line with your hips, okay? The band doesn't really serve a purpose at this moment in time, just there. Don't worry about it. Okay, if you're thinking, what should I be doing with this band? It's just there, okay? Okay, well done. Make sure your lower your legs are just parallel to the mat. So bring your knees down a tiny bit, Orla. Tiny bit, yeah. Good, nice pass. 10 seconds, guys. Stay with me. Good, Colette. Well done, Alan. Five, four, three, two, one, and slowly come down. Everybody okay? Thumbs up. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Okay, press up time, guys. Okay, if you want to try maybe five full ones, and then we'll go on to our knees for the last five. Time to progress. Can't stay in crash all the time. Time to move into my story now. All right, big, big, big kids now. Okay, so <laughs> you should be well ready for this. Okay, but if you're not, that's fine. Work from the knees. We're going to do five full ones if you can, and then as I said, drop to your knees when you're ready. Big breath in as you come down. Exhale to come up for five, four, three, two, one. Drop to your knees for the rest of the five. Okay, for five, four, three, two, and one of this stuff. Okay, we're going to do the other leg. If you find that you're uncomfortable on your elbows, you can stay up on your wrist and work through this position as well. So completely up to you, okay? Whatever works for you. All right, we're going to do the opposite leg, which is the right leg for me. I did my left leg the last time if you joined me with the left side. And we're going to lower and lift, okay? 
Come on, drive the sole of the foot to the ceiling. Really feeling the glutes active here, guys. Pushing up into that band, fighting with that band. Don't let it win for three, for two, for one. And we're gonna hold it up there, okay? Pulse, nice gentle pulses. Good. Trying to let that other hip kick out. Standing legs should stay nice and strong for three, two, one. Straighten that leg down and lower and lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold and pull for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Come into your shell stretch, please. Wide knees. Spread the legs. Big toes together. Reach good and long with those arms as far away as you can go. And rest the head down. Okay. Perfect. So just bring your right hand on top of your left hand and keep the head down. And then bring your right hand back and place your left hand on top. Feel a nice stretch coming into your side here, your waist, into your lap. And then coming onto your belly. See, you can put the bands on. We will use them to the end because they'll be useful for um, some abdominal work. So just coming down to your stomach. Resting your head on top of your hands, okay? Let's do a little bit of back work. Rest your forehead on top of your hands. Hands are stacked. Okay, completely relaxed here. Your feet are together, legs together, okay? And just squeeze the bum a little bit while you're lying here. Okay, so the bum stays quite active even when you're not doing that exercise. So you want to protect your back, so activate the, the bum bum first, okay? So big breath in, squeezing the glutes. And on the exhale, elbows lift, prepare, and then slowly, 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 lifting your chest up off the floor and your hands are stuck to your head, okay? If that's too much, place your hands down and just do, do this, support yourself with your hands. Slowly come back, down, okay? Big breath in, squeeze the bum, exhale, lock out the legs, knees lift, and gently, gently using your back muscles to lift you up. You need the support of your arms, you can do that, okay? Okay, keep going, lower down as you breathe in. Breathe the bottom, exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. And exhale to lift. Inhale to down. Exhale to come up. Again, two more, back in. And exhale. One more. And exhale. Slowly coming down. Rest your head down, looking to the left side of the room. And relax everything. See your heart beating in your ear. <laughs> Take a second, okay? When you're ready, we'll slowly roll onto our back. Okay. Roll down onto your back. If you need something under your head, you won't need it just yet, but just have it handy um, for the abdominal exercises. Okay. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is bridge. I don't want anything under the head for this one. Okay, so keep the band on the leg, feet are down and engaged, and just a gentle push into the bands with both your legs, not too much, that you before, about 20% effort, okay? So you just wanna know that you're working against the bands, that they're there and they're giving you awareness, positioning of your legs and it's making you push into them by being there, okay? That's making your legs stay in the correct alignment while getting an activation at the same time, okay? So hands down by your side, 
big breath in, nothing under the head. And on the exhale, toes down and slowly, slowly pushing your hips up towards the ceiling. Okay, nice and level and holding this position and just taking a minute to see what's going on. Is there any pain or discomfort? If there is, just come down a small bit with your hips, okay? Do you feel your feet are down and engaged with the mat or do you feel that you're lifting a toe? If so, bring that toe down, okay? Checking in with your knees. Do you feel like there's more pressure on one side of your knee? If so, just try and adjust your legs a little bit, okay? Or your shoulders equally rested on the mat? If not, correct that, drop them down. And just breathing into this position, feel the, the glutes firing up nicely, hamstrings, take a breath in, and then we're gonna slowly peel our spines back down onto the floor. One vertebra at a time, bringing the hips down equally. Okay. Try and bring them down at the same time through the center of your vertebrae. Okay, and then releasing fully. Don't relax the legs, push into the band. Big breath in. Roll onto the lower spine as you breathe in. Lift your chest, stomach towards the ceiling, and then exhale to push up. From here, guys, we're going to extend our right leg. Okay, and we're going to lower and lift that leg for 10. Nine, staying up with our hips. Eight, seven, six, five. You don't need to go high. Once you start to tuck your pelvis, you've gone too far. Okay. Two, one. Drop that foot down, please. Staying up though with your hips. We haven't brought the hips down. Make sure you're level, you feel strong, and then extend the opposite leg nice and long. Lower lift. So if you go too high, you'll see your hips tucking or dropping. I don't want that. Okay. Want good stability through the pelvis. Okay. Not allowing your hips drop. For three, two, one. Slowly place that foot down. And slowly, slowly, slowly bring your hips down. From here, bring your legs together. Drop them to the left side of the room. Reach your arms back and just hold this position, please. Pushing the hips forward, reach the arms all the way back, breathing into it. Excuse me, give me one more inhale and exhale. And slowly bring your hands down, step your back, and then bring your legs back, leading with the top leg. Let them fall to the other side of the room. We're going to finish then after these with abdominals and core work. More core work, but more intense. And then you're free. Okay. <laughs> so just holding the stretch legs to the other side of the room. Okay, pushing the hip top, hip forward. Reaching the arms long, okay. And when you're ready, slowly bring that top leg back, bottom leg back, and we are going to do some core, okay. So, uh, imprint, please. So, when you're ready, imprint your lower back and bring one leg first, and then bring the other leg to meet it. We're going to bring the heels together. You can leave the bands on, okay. It's going to make it extra challenging, though, okay. So, like last week, we did frog legs, we're going to do the same. Bring your heels together, as I said, and toes away, okay? And from here, hands behind the head. Take a big breath in, and on the exhale, you're gonna come into a sit-up position, okay? Big breath in, exhale to extend the leg. As you do so, your calves come together, and you're, you're externally rotating your knees and your feet staying wide. Inhale as you bring your knees in, stay up in the sit-up. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, breathing in, out, in, out, good, four, three, two, pushing the heels together, one, so our feet together, knees into your chest, give yourself a little hug, lovely, okay, from here, just rest your feet onto the mat. I want you to slowly bring the, the insteps of the feet together. So your big toe 
ball of the foot and the heel together, okay? And your knees are falling outward. I want a neutral pelvis. Don't tuck your back. Your back shouldn't be flat onto the mat, okay? A little space in your lower back. Elbows back behind your head. Inhale, exhale, coming up into a sit up. Inhale to come down. Exhale. Inhale to lower. Exhale. Keeping that neutral pelvis. So don't tuck your pelvis as you come into a sit up. Don't push your back down. You want to stay neutral. Keep your knees apart. In steps of the feet together. Have a look at your pelvis each time you come up. See if there's anything you can do to adjust it. They look um, in balance. Are your knees pushing evenly against the, the band? One knee higher than the other. Push down if that's the case. For two. For one. Bring the soles of the feet onto the mat. Hip distance apart with the band. Take a breath in, and when you're ready, neutral pelvis again, you're gonna lift the left leg up and you're gonna to rotate towards it, drive the knee towards you, okay? Inhale, slowly place it down. We're gonna stay on this left leg. Exhale, come up. Inhale to lower. Exhale, lift. Lower, lift. Keep the elbow back, please. Two, one more, and you're gonna hold the leg up there. Okay, I'm gonna bring it slightly forward and then drive it towards you. You're staying up in that rotation position with your upper body. Just work with the leg. Slightly forward and back. Good, come on. Stay rotated with your upper body in a sit-up position for two. One, slowly, slowly come down, okay? We're nearly there, guys. We're gonna do the opposite side, last exercise, okay? Three, two, one, lift the leg, rotate. Bring it down and rotate. Resting your head down between each one. Good. Bring the knee towards you as much as you can. Use that band as a bit of resistance, push into it. Good, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna bring that leg up and hold. Stay in your rotation position. Bring leg forward, back, forward, back. And as that leg comes towards you, you should feel a deeper abdominal crunch naturally happening. Four. Three, two, one, press the head down, take the bands off, please. Wrap them around, sorry, wrap them around the soles of the feet and extend the legs towards the ceiling. Pull gently on the bands, bend your knees towards your chest, holding the bands securely. And then exhale, extending again towards the ceiling, reaching the soles of the feet towards the ceiling. Release the left leg, place that foot onto the floor and keep the right leg in the band. If you don't have a band, just hold the back of the leg, okay, around the knee area, hold. a little bit deeper, extending the lower leg then, holding securely onto that band. Good. And when you're ready, just guiding that knee towards your opposite shoulder, holding the band in your hand, one hand, supporting the outside of the knee with the other, feeling a nice stretch in around the hip area. Okay, and when you're ready. Switch your roof, place the left, left, left foot in, place the right foot to the floor and extend. Good. 
breathing into the bend the knee, lift up a little bit further. Great, nice leg. And when you're ready, walk the leg, the other leg down, keeping that one stretched as much as you can. And slowly guiding that knee towards your opposite shoulder. And slowly releasing the leg down. We're done, just a little stretch guys. Reach the arms to the back of the room as you breathe in. Lifting up out of your pelvis. So I want you to arch your back, make a little bridge with your lower back. Resting on the shoulders, okay? Pushing your chest and your belly towards the ceiling. Breathing in for this nice abdominal stretch. Open the rib cage as you breathe in. Out. Deep breath in, relax your feet now. Out. Go one more, please. Feel a bit of length coming into your hip flexors all the way in underneath the ribs. Feel your diaphragm releasing, which is in the center point of your rib cage, right under the sternum. And go for one more. And as you do so, just let your arms melt down back towards your sides. And you are done. Well done. Stay lying there all day. Good job. Okay, hope you enjoyed. I think the uh, setup was a little bit better today with the lighting, I think so. I'm just on. Um,